In all of American history, there are few figures as colorful and questionable as Captain John Smith. Smith helped establish the first permanent English settlement in America at Jamestown in the early 1600s. But historians have found it difficult to separate fact from fiction in key events from Smith's two years there, especially the story for which he is most famous, his rescue by the Indian princess Pocahontas. In the spring of 1607, Smith arrived in Virginia with about 100 other colonists. Their goal was to settle the territory and make money for the Virginia Company. But within a year, they were in trouble. Food and water had run low, they were living in temporary shelters, and there was lots of tension with Indian Chief Powhatan, who ruled the territory. To turn the fortunes of the settlement around, John Smith took action. He instituted a harsh form of rule and is said to have told the settlers, he that will not work shall not eat. His policies worked and life improved at Jamestown, but the colonists hated Smith because of his strict rules. Smith spent time mapping the Chesapeake Bay and told stories of leading excursions deep into Powhatan territory. According to Smith, on one of these excursions, he and his crew were captured by the Powhatans. Chief Powhatan executed all of Smith's crew with blows to the head. When it was Smith's turn to die, Chief Powhatan's 10-year-old daughter, Pocahontas, rushed forward and begged her father to save Smith's life. In some accounts, she even held his head to prevent it from being clubbed. Did Pocahontas save Smith because of love? Hollywood sure thinks so, but historians aren't so sure. Some believe that Pocahontas' actions may have been part of a ritual to make Smith part of the Powhatan tribe restoring peace between the Virginians and the Powhatans. Others wonder if Smith's story ever even happened. By late 1609, Smith was forced to return to London due to a gunpowder injury that needed treatment. Jamestown sure missed his leadership. A severe food shortage fell upon the colony. Settlers ate rats, dogs, and many turned to cannibalism to survive. But it wasn't enough. 80% of the Jamestown population died during what became known as the Starving Time. The colonists were ready to abandon Virginia, but survived only after a new group of settlers arrived and began cultivating tobacco for sale in England. John Smith made one last journey to North America in 1614. This time he sailed further north, looking for fishing and fur trading opportunities on the coasts of what are now Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine, calling it New England. Just six years later, the Pilgrims founded Plymouth Colony along that same coast, and in 1630, inspired by Smith's reports, the Puritans established the Massachusetts Bay Colony. So who was John Smith really? History may never know for sure, but as Smith said long after his travels, building a colony requires all the best parts of art, judgment, courage, honesty, constancy, diligence, and industry, even to do near well.